Howard, thanks for the opportunity to talk to you here at NCMT. NCMT have been very, very synonymous with some high-end machine tool brands like Makina, and you've got this fabulous five-axis, hyper-speed machine, really, on the D200Z. But tell us a little bit about how this machine is made and, and to what accuracy. Uh, thanks for coming in, Mark. It's good to see you. Uh, yeah, Makino are a very superior build machine, you know, a very high accuracy machine. And reasons for that is because of the way they're constructed. You know, they're an incredibly well constructed machine, uh, hand built, hand scraped, you know, in surfaces. And everything seems to be, you know, a substantial build around how they're built. You know, uh, they have so much way that they have uh, weight put on during build just to take consideration for the build. So yeah, the, and we've been working with uh, Makino since 1964. So it's a long-standing relationship with the company. But this specific machine, I mean, uh, you've, you've got a spindle on there that's capable of uh, 30,000 RPM. So, you know, when you look at the construction of the machine, I, I presume it's got to be a very, very rigid. Yeah, incredibly rigid. It's on a single piece cast iron construction. You know, it's on the three point support, as with, you know, a number of Makino machines are on three point construction. And, um, the, it's a portal bridge type design as well and as I say there's, there's hand scraped surfaces in there so it's very carefully manufactured very carefully built and how does the uh, the, the, the control of the temperature with, it, with with such a fast spindle how, how does the the Makino actually how do they design a spindle to, uh, around the cooling side of the, the the nature of the spindle well the, the spindles 30,000 rpm spindle it's on a HSK E50 back end 15 kilowatt motor and uh, there's a lot of design goes into Makinos, it's the heart of the machine, any, any machine tool, the heart of the machine is the spindle and uh, they've got a multi-storey spindle factory where they design these, you know, these spindles, it's core cooled, it's got jacket cooling on as well so it's, it's very thermally stable on the spindle. Obviously it's a, a, a well constructed machine but is there any other value in, in the construction of this Makino? Yeah, it's, um, what you have is, uh, because it's a portal type construction and you it's how, it, it's how you get in that table underneath the column. And what Makino do is they terrace the slideways so that the, the, it's not hanging off the column, it's actually supported with the column. So it's a very, very you know, stable process around the spindle. You know, everything's very responsive as well around the, the rotary, you know, the rotary uh, axes. You've got direct drive rotary axes, very, very responsive machine tool. And when you look at the materials that you can actually cut, cut on this machine, what are they? Uh, you're generally looking at mould tools, uh, mould mold steels, so Stavax, uh, High Rockwell, um, you know, st steels uh, for mould for mold cutting. Uh, and, and that's quite interesting because when you look at the diamond mould sector, you know, they're really looking for surface finishing at the highest quality, aren't they? Does this perform at that level? Oh, it's, yeah, very much so. You know, you're looking at very high accuracy. You know, you've got scales on the machine. That's a 0 0.0125 of a micron. You know, so it's very, very accurate scales on that. Um, you know, so and, and to achieve that, you've got to have a very rigid build as well. You know, to get those surface finishes. So on the surface finishing, why is that actually so important to customers, Howard? Well, what we find when we produce test pieces for customers on this machine, we uh, we eliminate the need for polishing. So there's a whole process that's eliminated. So, uh, and even EDM process as well, you know, you can get the, the tool off the machine, complete off the machine tool. So it saves processes, saves other operations further down the line. Is there any other um, variations of, of different construction of this machine, Howard? Yeah, well, the, the D200 comes as a, as a standard machine, you know, or you can have it as a graphite machine as well for graphite electrodes, where you'd have all the vacuum uh, sealing on there as well, or you could have uh, extra filters on the on a on a, a coolant process. And, and one thing I've noticed on this machine today is is that it, it, it's ready for automation. Is that another key area that Makino are trying to push, especially this type of machine? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you can see just looking at the machine how accessible it is. You've got the tooling on one side. You've got you know the operator door is very easy to get to, and then you have an auto shutter to the side, so you can put a robot loader on the side. You can put, you know, in a rower system, a pallet stocker, you know, so it's, yes, it's a very accessible, flexible machine tool. Yeah, versatility is, is, is where it's at. So, you know, for any engineers uh, watching this video that are looking for a very high-end five-axis vertical uh, machining sensor, what would be your message to them? Uh, you know, get in touch, you know, come, we'll let us have a look at your parts and we'll give you a, you know, a fully engineered solution for your, for your, for your machine. Uh, and when... 
when you look at the uh, the market and, and where this fits in, where, where do you see this being uh, uh, a perfect slot for some sectors? Where would that be? It's, you, you're generally looking at high accuracy uh, mold tools, but you could probably look at high value parts as well on this. You know, so high value, um, you know, aerospace parts, engine parts as well. And also, uh, as I would presume, NCMT, you know, are very much into turnkey. I presume, yet again, you could uh, make this machine around the customers uh, or solving their, their machining issues, let's say. Yeah, definitely. You know, we, NCMT have worked uh, with Makino since 1964, as I say, and uh, we've built up a strong reputation for engineered turnkey solutions over that time. Um, yeah, so generally, a lot of the business we bring in, or you know, well, certainly what sets us apart, is the high end, high technology machine tools. And finally, you know, when you talk about the, uh, the, the service and backup, I, I presume that uh, obviously it's, it's at the NCMTA level and obviously you've got stock. Yeah, yeah, well, this is in stock. You know, we've got other machines in stock as well. So yeah, just get in touch. Yeah, we're doing good deals on machines.